All right, Comedy Cube, Comedy Cube. Sit your asses down and get ready for another funny comedian, okay? We got a really funny guy coming to the stage. This guy is hilarious. Are y'all ready to laugh? All right, all right. Big round of applause. Get the energy going. Give it up for the really funny Mario Hodge. Give it up for Mario, y'all. How y'all doing? It's good to see y'all out here. Yes. I'm going to tell you something. Ladies, if you think I'm handsome, I like my women nasty like white people's potato salad. <laughs> That's some nasty ass shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, but it's, I'm so glad to be here, man. Uh, let me tell you one thing. Um, ladies, I love y'all to death, man. Um, but I don't like skinny women. Yes, I don't like skinny women. I, if you don't got no ass and titties, you should be at a parking handicap parking spaces. That's a disability. It, yeah, I went on a date with a skinny chick before. It was the worst movie date I ever been in on my life because we couldn't enjoy the movie. She was so skinny, her seat kept popping up on the bitch the whole time. <laughs> I had to put my popcorn and drink on her lap so her legs could stay the fuck down. I'm like, this is some bullshit. I like me a BBW. Big woman, I want your arms to look like KFC potato wedges. <laughs> I want you to be able to wear leggings on your arms too, not just on your legs. I took my big girl to the movies. She got to use the bathroom. Her seat stayed the fuck down till she got back. <laughs> she fucked up all the screws in that goddamn seat. We had to take the seat with us. And if you a vegan, fuck you. I hate vegans too. Y'all the new Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> Fucking with people all the goddamn time. I, I dated a vegan. All she ate was nuts and berries. I ate a pussy that tastes like trail mix. I could have got that at Trader Joe's, bitch. And like, I, I don't see, I, all the women in here are beautiful as hell. You know what I'm saying? Say thank you, bitches. I give y'all a compliment. First of all, listen, if you ugly, you just ugly. Ain't nothing gonna help you. Stop putting on the goddamn filter. Stop putting, stop getting on your phone, putting on the filter because it just highlights your ugliness. I can prove it to you right now. Show you, I can show you. Now, I'm the ugliest bitch in here right now. Now, I put a filter on. You see this shit? Filter does not work. <laughs> Shit don't work at all. And if you got a big ass forehead, stop wearing lace foot front wigs. Stop putting lace front wigs on. I'm gonna show you how you look in public to us. You see this shit? And you see how you, you take a picture and you post it sideways? You see how the for your foot? Your face is on Facebook. Your forehead on Instagram, bitch. Sick of this shit. They, hey, and these youngsters are crazy. They breaking into your cars and stealing all your shit. You seeing this shit? They stealing, they breaking in your car and taking all your shit. Me and my girl driving, and she like, I'm hungry, I wanna go to Wingstop. I'm like, okay, let's go to Wingstop. We get, she said, can you go in there and order for me? I'm like, cool, let's, I go in there and order. I go in order. They broke my motherfucking window that fast and took my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I came back outside, there was glass everywhere. I called her on the phone, I said, where you at? She said, I'm with a real nigga right now. I said, <laughs> I said bitch, <laughs> fuck you too. Uh, is music has changed. Music has changed a lot. Like y'all young, you know, so y'all like these these this young shit. I I I, I never had well, I grew up I'm a seventies baby, so I never grew up with cuss words in songs. They got cuss words in songs now. I can't I don't understand this shit. This shit is is, is disrespectful. Like this like this like like listen, I'm I'm forty nine years old. Stop fucking me to young music if you young. This girl, got on, this girl got on top of me. I didn't know what was happening. She was like, body, yaddy, 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 I said, bitch, I'm dizzy. What is this? I can't understand this shit. That's why I don't date young women. If you, 
30 and under, I don't fuck with you because you're irresponsible. How you giving me head? First of all, when you give me head, change your goddamn batteries in your smoke detector. I can't concentrate if I keep hearing. That's why my dick going soft, because I keep hearing this shit. Y'all ain't got no handles on y'all pots. You ain't got no tops. You ain't got no oven mitts. I got to use my shirt to grab the goddamn pot so I don't burn my goddamn fingers. This is some bullshit. I like an older woman, 40 and up. I like, I like some titties that been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? She had, she had a tattoo on her titty since junior high school. Now I look like it's in Spanish. They saw flat to her chest. I can push both of the titties together at the same time and suck both of the nipples at once. That's the kind of titties I like. But I don't go over 55. 55 is when a woman starts losing her memory. She starts she start forgetting shit. I'm having sex with this 58-year-old lady. I'm tearing that pussy up, hitting it from the back. Bye, bye, bye. I said, what's my motherfucking name? She turned around and said, tell me again, sugar, I forgot. I said, you old bitch. I got the same name as your son. It's on your titty, Mario. But this music is disrespectful. You can't be, listen, they got this one dude, I like him, but he be disrespectful, man. They got this dude named Ty Dolla Sign. <laughs> listen to the lyrics in this song. I got both my bitches in the club and they know about each other. I think these bitches trying to set me up. Or am I just paranoid? Now, we went from ain't no woman like the one I got to now we got both our bitches in the goddamn club. This is some stupid shit. Now, now we understand why our kids are so goddamn stupid. Because they listening to this shit. What if, but listen, if you 40 and up, you can't be judgmental because what if our, our same uh, uh, people listen, uh, uh, did the same shit? Did the same, had cuss words in their songs? Like the Temptations. Just think about it. Temptations. I got both my bitches up in this club. And they know about each other. I think these bitches trying to set me up. Hey, hey, I think these bitches trying to set me up. These hoes, these hoes, these hoes talking about these hoes, these hoes. <laughs> Even Marvin Gaye, God rest his soul, but, but what's going on? Marvin would be nervous as shit because he'd be telling both of his niggas that both of his bitches just walked in the club. So this would be Marvin. He'd be looking. He'd be like, nigga, nigga, both my bitches in this club. Oh, and they know about each other. I think these bitches trying to set me up. Ooh, nigga, get out. Mm -hmm. For I don't have nowhere to stay Hey, nigga move, nigga These bitches ain't cool, nigga This shit is whack, nigga You got my back Oh, here they come Oh, here they come I say nigga, here they come <laughs> Gotta be I gotta say to my black and brown people, man, don't be distracted by what's going on because they're still killing black people and brown people in the street. The police are still killing us, man. And we gotta understand what's going on. But listen, here's something that you don't realize. Police don't kill the gay, anybody in the gay community. I'm gonna tell you why. And, and listen, I ain't got no problem with gay people. I love gay people, so don't get mad at me at the come up to me and say, you shouldn't have said that. But, <laughs> I ain't Kevin Hart, I'll whoop your motherfucking ass, first of all. <laughs> but listen, 
The police don't kill gay people because gay people fight for their fucking rights. That's what I love about the gay community. They go down for their shit. They gonna protest, they gonna get shit done. So if the police kill them, you gonna go to fuck the jail. So, so gentlemen, if you ain't gay in here, learn how to act gay when it's time to act gay. It'll save you. I was on my way here, coming to this place. I got pulled over by police. I'm black, I ain't got no registration or driver's license. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga. The, the officer come to my window, he's mad as hell. He, he's upset, little white dude. And he asked me for my, he got his hand on his gun. He asked me for my license. I said, sir, can you, it's in my wallet in my glove department, can you get it? Because I didn't feel comfortable. I thought he was gonna kill me. I didn't want to die, I want to go back to my kids and family. He got my wallet, got my ID, went back to the car to, um, to check my ID. I got ready on his ass, said fuck that, he ain't finna kill me. He came back. <laughs> he came back. I said, we 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 like a cop car. We 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 we. I said, oh, you so motherfucking cute. What's your name? <laughs> I said, look at your little gun on you. Pew 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 pew. He said, excuse me, sir. I said, sir, I'm a whole ass bitch up in this motherfucker. Who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, ma'am. Stop speeding and gave me my license back and he left. <laughs> so I live to see another day. Thank y'all, LAM. Comedian Mario Hall, thank you. This has been a Funny Media Group production.